decision to speak in a public forum like this? Is it the first time you've done something like this? So why? Well, um, I was asked to do so, and I feel an obligation. Um, I have a story that needs to be told. People need to recognize uh, that there is a lot of injustice in our justice system. Um, it happens all over the country. It happens in the state of Indiana. It happened in New Albany and Floyd County. And uh, people need to understand that, you know, we see these things in the news and in the media and we always think that it happens some other place to some other person. Well, it, ha it can happen in your hometown and it did happen in mine. So do you still believe in the justice system after all these years? I believe in elements of the justice system. If it wasn't for the justice system, and they're, they're, it has a hierarchy and there are various levels, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the appellate and Supreme Court. Um, so, looking at it, you know, over a period of time of 13 years, you know, did the proper outcome eventually become reached? Yes. Is the right person in prison for the rest of his life? Yes. Am I free? Yes. But you shouldn't have to go through three trials with three different prosecutors. The county spend millions of dollars to finally get to the point where you reach the conclusion that should have been reached in 2000, 2001. And do you think the case was flawed from the beginning, and was, why so? It was flawed from the very beginning because you had experienced police officers arriving and within five minutes making a determination that this was a Dave Cam crime, as one of their very experienced officers told on the stand. Then you have a prosecutor who takes over the investigation, who brings in an outside expert who in fact turned out not to be an expert, and all faith was put in that man that he knew what he was talking about, and he's the one that made the conclusions uh, that ultimately led to the probable cause affidavit, which led to my arrest. And everything that that man said turned out to be inaccurate, and he was uh, ultimately disclosed as being a fraud, and he admitted to perjury under trial, and no prosecutor has ever uh, went after him for the perjury that he committed and the obstruction of justice that he committed in this case. They turned a blind eye to that and just continued pushing forward after me because they didn't want to admit that they were wrong. Why do you think people were so quick to convict you, even the public? Well, because when you have a, a prosecutor standing out in front of cameras using the media as a bully pulpit to you know, try and convince people, and that's ultimately the way that it works in our society. People believe what they see on TV. That's simply not the case. Um, there's a natural assumption in our country that anytime you have a crime like this that it's going to be you know the spouse and that is not always the case and it was not in this case but there's that perception and there's also the perception in the community that when the prosecutors and the police charge someone that they got it right people just naturally believe that i was the same way that's simply not the way that it is so after 13 years what does freedom feel like it feels like a blessing and even though you're free i'm sure there's still the you know, the people out there who still believe you did it. What is your message to them? Um, no one ever said that you had to be intelligent to have an opinion. Anyone can have an opinion. If they want to be ignorant and don't want to educate themselves and want to presume that I had something to do with this or that I committed these crimes, that's up to them. You know, I'm moving forward in my life. And what is your feelings towards Bonet in terms of the claims he's made against you? Well, Charles Bonet murdered my family. Aside from that, I got nothing to say to God. So today and moving forward, what's that look like for you? It's one day at a time, uh, getting through minute by minute, but I'm just happy to have my freedom back. I'm, I'm happy to be uh, returned to my family. Um, I just consider it a blessing to be alive and be free, and um, I'm doing my best to make the best of it. And what do you hope people take away from today? What do you hope they learn in there? That our justice system is made up of people and individuals, and none of us are perfect, and people make mistakes. I understand that. The problem is when people refuse to admit that they've made a mistake and acknowledge it and try and rectify it. So I hope that these kids realize that as they graduate and they go into careers and whatever they feel they choose to be in, that they're a human being and um, that they should recognize that you know, there may be times when if they need to call things into question, maybe that they've been told to believe and to stand up and do the right thing because that's what people should do.